what's up guys welcome back to half men half tech my name is ben your host so in this video we're going to be talking about watch os 9 the next big update that apple is going to be announcing and revealing this year for the apple watch so we're going to be covering things such as when will watch os 9 be announced what are the supported devices or the apple watches that are going to support watch os 9 when it comes out as well as what are some of the new features and new changes that we can expect when this watch os 9 update comes out so the first part is when will this update be announced to the public so we now have an idea and this is all thanks to apple because in the apple developer app if you have it on the iphone or if you go on apple's website you'll be able to see this developer app they actually did tell us when this year's wwdc is going to take place and you can see there the worldwide developer conference for this year is going to take place from june 6 to june 10 and this is when we can expect the first beta of watch os 9 and it's going to be released on june 6 and surprisingly if you go to june 6 you'll be able to see that june 6 is going to be a monday so for some reason now apple has switched to a monday press conference so that is when we are going to be getting the first beta of watch os 9 it's going to be coming out to those that have developer betas or that have both developer profiles if you want to find out ways in which you can be able to download watch os 9 when it comes out for the first beta for developers then definitely do subscribe and stick around i might have something in the works for you so that is when we can expect the first beta on june 6 at this year's wwdc however when it comes to the official release date when watch os um, 9 is going to be released to the general public that can somehow be expected in the month of september 2022 so sometime in september that's when we can expect it to be released to those that don't want to do beta testing and i say this because if you actually go to your calendar and go to the month of september you'll be able to see that the month of september 20 2021 that was when apple released this update to the public last year and surprisingly again that was a monday we usually see updates from apple on um tuesdays so you can see last year 2021 september 20 was on a monday so for this year we can sort of expect something similar in the month of september it might not be in the month or in the week of the 19th to the 24th so it could be somewhere between the month or the week of september 12th to the week of september 26th so that's when we can sort of expect this update to be released to everyone to the public basically for those that don't want to do beta testing so that's a rough idea and in terms of the de devices that are going to be supported when it comes to watch os 9 there's a great um, selection of devices that might still be supported and the good thing is that it seems like this year apple again might not be dropping any devices so we could be seeing the apple watch series 3 and all the way to the apple watch series 7 as well as the apple watch se supporting this new watch os 9 although there's a minor rumor that seems to say around that suggesting that the apple watch series 3 because of its age might be dropped but again the apple watch series 3 does support apple fitness plus so for the low price range that the apple watch series 3 comes in you know it's a very competitive pricing and apple might not drop it in that case for just because you know it has the fitness feature and it comes in at a really good price point so i really hope that apple keeps all these devices and don't doesn't drop anything and that will be great for most of my subscribers and users that actually do use the apple watch series 3 all the way to the apple watch series 7 and se 
as it seems to be at this point that those devices are going to be supported now in terms of what's going to be new or what's going to change when watch os 9 comes out obviously with each update we do see like new watch faces for example unity lights some of them they are released officially or on launch day like on the 19th of september for example 2022 we might see watch os 9 release with new watch faces like these are some of the new watch faces that are here with watch os 8 we have the dynamic contour unity lights and portrait watch face but this year when it comes to watch os 9 we can expect nothing less definitely apple will throw in a watch or two new watch faces to sort of go with the new update like they've always done and there is the update progresses like watch os 9.1 and so on we could be seeing like more watch faces being added along the way so that's something that we can always look forward to now i want to talk about also something we can expect when it comes to watch os 9 and there seems to be good sources pointing out that we're going to have more workouts when it comes to the new watch os 9 update and not only that but the apple watch will be able to detect better when you are doing a workout so the time it will take for it to be able to detect for example when you are hiking or when you're doing yoga even though you have not initiated the workout like i'm doing here will be less so that is going to be something that's good it's going to reduce the last the latency time in order for you to enjoy and start tracking your workouts this as soon as possible so that's something that's good also something that i found quite interesting that seems to be circulating around on the internet is the fact that we might get a new view or a new options view when you're trying to view your application so you can see here we have list view and the other view uh, that we have is grid view but then the grid view we have is not in order it's sort of scattered around so it has this mesh thing and if you zoom out you can see how the applications are sort of arranged but with watch os 9 there seems to be an article circulating suggesting that we might be seeing like a layout somewhat to what we have on the iphone like this either a three by three layout or a four by four layout or even a three by four layout so that is something that i would take with a little grain of salt since nothing seems to suggest that that is going to be happening but you know if it does happen for me i do a lot of apple watch videos and that would definitely help me out and i'll be able to locate applications such as settings and so on faster so that would be uh, something that's great also something that we could be getting with watch os 9 when it does come out if you click on your battery section you can see that you have reserve power or power reserve mode and what this does it basically reserves or prolongs battery life by turning off all features except the um, the current time and to exit low power mode you basically have to hold uh, the side button and then that's how you exit the low power mode so when watch os 9 does come out we could be getting an update to this low power mode we are most probably going to be getting a better and advanced low power mode that's going to be working with more apps and even working better and reducing the amount of power it takes when you are sleeping or when you are in certain focuses since it doesn't fully utilize that so that is something i'm down for and i can't wait to see that also with this watch os 9 when it does come out we could be seeing you know advanced sleep tracking of course this is just a sleep focus i said so when you sleep i use the focus all the time but if you want to be able to set up your sleep mode you do have to go on your iphone of course and you have to go in and set up your sleep focus in the health app and you'll be able to set up your schedule and so on but it seems like we could be getting better sleep tracking and features and improvements to sleep tracking so that is something that i'm down for as well and also when it comes to other changes and other updates that we can expect 
for watch os 9 there seems to be you know suggestions that we are going to get improvements and more stability uh, f fixes when it comes to functions such as ecg we've seen issues with ecg where for certain countries and regions it doesn't work as it's supposed to and also not only that but for women especially for uh, those that use the apple watch to track their health such as you know cycle tracking and so on you'll be able to set up more parameters on your device in the health app so you might actually be able to see some of those settings in the health app and transfer them and monitor them on your apple watch once watch os 9 comes so that's something that's going to be good and also again something that's good with this update that i would like to show you there's going to be more regions that are going to be added to the apple wallet support obviously as time progresses and uh, different jurisdictions log on to this this is something that we are going to be uh, seeing rolled out on a wilder scale also with watch os 9 we could be getting something that's called advanced connectivity when trying to contact emergency services so we use the apple watch sometimes to call emergency services or if you use it for for detection or sos then there could be improvements to that where it's uh, able to connect better in areas where you have very low low cell connectivity and that could be a life-saving feature or advancement so when it comes to watch os 9 there is doesn't seem like we are going to be getting you know a lot of life-changing features or a lot of design overhauls with this update so this is one that we have to wait and see when most of these new features or new changes as well as new watch faces and so on are going to be introduced and when the when it does drop i will cover them here on the channel at half men half tech and other than that guys that's about it for me and definitely do check out my website halfmenhalftech.com we have a variety of products that we have handpicked for you that will resonate with most of our subscribers and viewers and if you do like something you in a sense be supporting us here on the channel so that's about it for me guys i can't wait for watch os 9 to come out stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace